Hey guys, welcome to video number five. It's a five video series. It's a stamp a stack featuring Walrus Be Friends and it starts with art. I was looking to do um, a kit where you can apply your own creativity, but it's not too hard to follow along. It's a little bit of a no brainer, but you can modify it. I wanted it to inspire you with some items that you might be retiring, although in a couple of days. At the filming of this video, I just have suspicions. Um, I also wanted you to be able to use your own stamp sets that you have on hand with this kit. And this is what I came up with. So this is the fifth video. This is the final card design. And if you need to catch up, check in the description if you're watching on YouTube for links to the posts in this video series. When you're on the blog, below the embedded video, you'll find a quick links series where you can watch all five videos. There are a limited number of kits for this card class, and you can um, check the kitchen table stamper store to see if any kits are remaining. This is our card. We're cut out to be friends. You guys have told me that you want cards that you can send to check in on people, let them know you're thinking of them, let them know that, you know, ask them if they're okay, tell them that you hope that things get better, that kind of stuff. You're sending a lot of cards now, so we're gonna stamp a stack. So this is our, it starts with art, crafting forever version. If you're following the series, you know that there's also a Walrus Be Friends version. So this is exactly the same materials from the same kit. We switched up our designer series paper. So we cut, according to the Wonder Recipe, a six by six sheet of designer series paper. We cut down at two, across at three, you get four pieces. For the walrus version, we use this streaky crushed curry piece from Starts With Art. There's um, 12 six by six designer series papers included in the kit. For the one that we're gonna do today, we've got the ribbon spools and twine. We're using the two inch by three inch pieces. So you can get two from one six by six. So you'll make two of these cards. So either two of these or two of these or maybe two of these and with the designer series paper left over you might try some of these too because you will have enough cards and em or enough envelopes cardstock all your punched and die cut bits to make seven cards but you'll have enough designer series paper left over to keep on going if you want so this is the one we'll do for the video these will have pictures of very photographic inspiration okay so let's take a look at what we've got here. In the kit, there's a Whisper White cardstock half sheet. You wanna grab that and your card kit for this one. We've got our cardstock bits all ready to go. We've got a stitched square from the stitched shapes. We've got a smoky slate scalloped square. That's what we did that with layering squares. Hold on, I'm looking for it. I know that we punched you a circle tab with Pacific Point, and we've cut our designer series paper. It's right here. Let's get started. We're going to get some stamping. We're going to do that background stamping. For this one, we've got our little um, bobbin from the It Starts With Art stamp set. It's this one where the die cuts it out. It's like a little spool for twine. We'll use that for our background, but you'll see in the wall rest, we've got a different one. We used the artisan textures for the background of that one. So to make these cards, you'll need artisan textures. Will wall rest be friends? For the one that we're doing in the video today for our version, we've got it starts with art and crafting forever. So maybe we're hitting on some things that might be on the retirement list, some things that you might already have in your possession. All right, we've done this before. What we're gonna do is we're going to kind of dry fit our pieces so we know where to stamp our little spool. It really helps me, our little bobbin. I don't know what to call that thing. Um, it really helps me to lay down the pieces where they're gonna end up living when I do this step. So we'll make sure we got a good strong crease on our cardstock there. Designer series paper is going to go about an inch up centered right to left. We'll just lay it in there like where it's going to live. 
ink up with the spool, the bobbin, the scallop, lightly. We don't want to blush. We're going to hover, move our designer series paper, stamp. And the next thing we want to do is put that one right back in there about where it's going to live. And then we're going to put this one in here about where it's going to live. So we're looking at a dry fit both of these. And this I find is the best way for me to visualize where to do my background stamping when it's not a big solid background. All right, so we're going to hover again where we want our little swoop, our little scallop. Slide everything out of the way and stamp. All right, now we need some tuxedo black. Got a pair of scissors. That's from Crafting Forever. We're cut out to be friends. Love that sentiment. Let's stamp we're cut out to be friends with tuxedo black in the top corner of our square. I love this one. If you follow me for craft fair stuff, we're cut out to be friends with the little scissors. I do it on notebooks. I do it on candy. Um, I do lollipop covers and they sell really well. People love the work cut out to be friends. They come up and they're like, oh, I know exactly who to give that to. So it's a great, um, Crafting Forever is a great stamp set if you do craft fairs. All right, bring in that half a sheet of Whisper White. We're going to stamp two pairs of scissors because what's one pair of scissors if we're cut out to be friends? We definitely need two. And we'll out color them and cut them out. So let's get those guys. One. Two. If you remember, you're doing this as stamp a stack. So if you're doing these, do four scissors, color them all at once because you're going to stamp two of this design or you're going to create two of this design. I've got Calypso Coral and Smoky Slate combo Stampin' Blends. We're just going to color these guys in. Real basic. Color in with the light Stampin' Blend. Shadow with the dark Stampin' Blend. Blend together the two using the light one. And once you got them all colored, you want to cut them out fussy cut with scissors. There's one little guy. Let's trim him right out of there. I'm going to go ahead and cut with the tiniest little hair of white around the edge. Not exactly on the line. Get those two guys out of there. Here's one already done ahead of time. All right, there it is. Now let's get this guy put together. I'm gonna get my multi-purpose liquid glue. Let's start putting these layers together. We got too many pieces here for my liking. I'm gonna go ahead and multi-purpose liquid glue. We're gonna put our stitched to our scallop. Go ahead and burnish those down. Now, speaking of retirement list, things that might retire, I think the circle tab is going. I think it's so sad because it is the cutest little way to add some interest to a card. We're gonna go ahead and glue, a little multi-purpose liquid glue on both sides. Right to the edge of our scallop, just into the stitches. We wanna just see the stitches past the edge of the tab. And then burnish that guy down. I like to take a 1 8 inch circle punch then. I think this is kind of a fun little trick. Pop that guy, a little hole in that guy. Oh, I think my envelope ate my tag. Hold on, let me find my tag. Yep, there we go. Envelope's always a culprit. All right, there's our little tag. We need our linen thread. You get about three, almost four yards in the kit. We're gonna slide that through our little hole on the tab. 
gonna pull off about five inches, so maybe 10 total. We want to here, it helps if you've got some dexterity issues, you can tie over under. But then the next thing we're gonna do is bring these two tails through the tag. So you wanna get them nice and close. Slide them right on. Hold them tight together and they will go through pretty easy. If you're having trouble, use your take your pick to tool to give it a little push. And then pull it tight, tie a bow. Nice loopy one. I like the texture, the sweetness of a nice loopy bow. I don't think we need to trim much. The edges are a little rough once they've gone through the hole there, but that's all. Oh, how cute is that? All right, let's put these two layers on the card. Designer series paper. Now, so this is the same two by three piece that you get when you cut the Wonder Recipe, but you'll see in the, it starts with art. We're gonna use it straight across the bottom here. Glue that guy down. And then for this one, more multi-purpose liquid glue. Let's glue this guy on, but then I want to show you the different application of the same size piece, different designer series paper, but the same size piece on our walrus card. So look at that. Same scallop, same stitch, same circle tab, same size designer series paper, same color card base, but look at how different that layout is. So this kit is flexible for you to express your own creativity. All right, my scissors are gonna get bumped up with dimensionals, they're both going to, so I'm just cutting up the edge of a dimensional, really support these guys here. And we need them to go a little this way, a little that way. Get the other one. I love using the edges of my dimensionals for little oddball shaped pieces like these. There's our second little pair, pop it up. And we need one more last finishing touch. Your kit came with this little packet of hearts. Let's grab a heart for our tag. I want something kind of middle size. I have kind of small, medium, big, really big. We'll go. Oh, that's not medium. <laughs> I don't know how I got that little guy. He's a little too, I want something a little more substantial. He'll be perfect for another project. You, back in the bag. <laughs> you should have plenty to choose from in the kit. This is cut with the Be Mine stitch dies. Now, a little multi-purpose liquid glue on the tag. Got my little heart there. I'm gonna grab my Take Your Pick tool. Pick this dude up, drop it right in the glue. Burnish down. There it is. We're cut out to be friends. All your crafty friends, they need to hear from you. They need to know that. <laughs> That's a fast, easy card to make. All right, guys, if you've got any questions about the Starts Without Walrus Be Friends Stamp a Stack class, the kit, the projects, if you've got any questions at all, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and to Shop Stampin' Up 24-7, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Let's get these guys back in here. <laughs> Cute, right? Same pieces. Totally different card. All right, you guys. Happy stampin'. Thanks for watching. Bye.